first alert weather. Hey, good morning. Jeff Roper back in the saddle again here. I have leather chaps on. It is uh, snowing this morning and it's not going anywhere. We've got more rounds of this that are going to be picking up, especially as we get into tomorrow. So I do expect today to be a little slick. We're already getting reports of accidents in Ammon. You may see a slide off here or there because there are some slick spots. Some black ice is out there and uh, some visibility issues as well. Snow is flying in salmon into the upper regions of our broadcast community. 19 is the Temperature. So anything that hits the ground is going to freeze. We've got 30 in Pocatello. There's a live look over Holt Arena and 22 is the wind chill with winds out of the south at night. So you may want to take the kids to school once we get used to all this. I'm not getting a temperature out of West Yellowstone, but it stands to reason it's chilly cold. 10 in Jackson right now. We're in the freezing zone for IF and Blackfoot. 22 in Arco. It's 26 in Preston and 16 down around Burn this morning. Take a look at the big picture. Look at all this cold air that is taking over the country finally starts to feel like December. And now that it's January, I'm going to stop this on into tomorrow morning because it looks like it's going to be a really messy beginning to the weekend with off and on snow showers through here. And by the end of the day, Friday, we'll probably have about an inch of snow on the ground in Idaho Falls. There's another system back behind this. So this is like a one, two, three and a late upper hook on into Tuesday because we've got several systems that are flying through here. Colder air will shuttle in and that's where you get that deeper purple up there. And then the, we're talking about chances at a good 80% on into Saturday, still Sunday, and it comes back on into Tuesday and lingers on into Wednesday. So here's the snow that we've been missing. Accumulations at this point look about to be an inch on into late Friday for Idaho Falls and Pocatello. And you know that deeper corridor where it always gets so foggy and we've had issues with that in the last several weeks as well. We'll see some of that begin to pile up here, I think, into the southeastern highlands with the continuous snow progression around here. But for today, we've got snow showers that will be off and on around a third 40% chance for the valley into the mountains and ridges. There'll be a better chance, but we're right there at perfect recipe degrees for snowmaking right around 30. Tonight, a lingering shower chance. They may crop up into the latter part of the night and they'll show up for Friday morning. So we'll be back here to light your fire and kick you into corduroys. It's going to be in the mid teens overnight to in Driggs, 17 in Soda. It will be Taylor Swift degrees into Mackey and Chalice and a big seven on into Stanley. 26 in Burley tonight and 22 at Napoleon's house. Here's your local news eight day extended forecast and with the fronts that start to come through, it's a guarantee that the winds are going to pick up as well. So blowing snow creates visibility issues. This is a live look over Blackfoot and I-15. The temperatures don't stray much from tonight's low of 23 to 29 for tomorrow and a messy day. Better chances of showers continue on into Saturday. Rexburg will be 30 today, not getting above freezing down into the teens and even single digits with a blast of Arctic air that gets here on into Monday yawning. Salmon will be 32, 15 tonight. You've got better chances chances of showers showing up today in salmon than you do for the weekend, but the winds will blow some of that around, so it'll be hard to tell the accumulations, but we're, we're looking for your weather pictures as well. Weather watchers at localnews8.com if you're on the dial up. It'll be 30 in Jackson down to 15 tonight and everything will freeze. We'll get into some single digit lows. Good pow uh, to plow 35 for Pocatello today and the winds begin to pick up. It'll be 80% the chance of showers into tomorrow. So Friday looks like a first alert weather day and we bring back shower chances on into Saturday as well. They begin to heighten into Idaho Falls and then poof, we get cold air. And on Tuesday, we bring back a 60% chance of showers. So get your boots and your shovels ready. I know it's been a minute. You forgot. We live in uh, the world of Frosty the Snowman. I'll be back. All right. Thank you.